On July 7th, I met with Kentucky State Director of American Atheist Jim Helton in protesting the opening of the Noah's Ark theme park. Helton, who is also president of the Tri-State Freethinkers, had arranged a very successful protest with a few dozen positive participants, including the president of American Atheist, David Silverman. But there were counter-protesters there, too, like this stool sample, Eric Hovind, son of the infamous convicted fraud, Kent Hovind. Such a pity that evangelicals don't believe in birth control. Hovind's usual game is to use his natural talent of irritating people so he can record them and edit their answers to the wrong questions and so on, trying to make reasonable people sound as unreasonable as he is. That obviously didn't work when he tried that with me. So give me some reason, because right now I haven't heard any reason. All you said is I object to you. Yes. So I haven't heard any reason. And are you guys saying that? He slices it to, to a reason. Comes out making you look dumb. Okay. That's his job, to I make you look dumb. I understand that. Well, here, you make, me, you make I, us I, look I, dumb. I, I, you guys I don't, go ahead. You don't need my help. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't want a dialogue about this army? You don't want any dialogue about I talk why are you protesting? People. You're a professional criminal. Okay, you're, there's a lot of criminals out here. No, that's yeah. not true. You're a con. So I'm a professional criminal, yeah, is your you're claim. A so we've got an if ad hominem attack so far. Do you have anything debate worthy? Why do you object to the art? Snake oil, you'd be on that point. So why do you object to the art? Because it's immoral to lie to children. I agree that it's immoral to lie to children. Now they're not lying to children. We know that that art never happened. Actually, actually there. we do. Actually, we do know that it never happened. No, we know that we it actually did happen. That it did not happen. And and I'm not having this Okay, give me, give me some details on that because give me some data on that. I mean, I could make the statement, I know it did happen. You're right. making the statement, I know it did happen. Well, well I know you that like, it didn't happen. Aaron, I, can show I will happen. pay for you to go through that arc and show you the scientific evidence that is there in that arc. Would you like to walk through that with me? I will pay for you. I'll pay for you and for your wife. So you, steel rivets. I'll let cranes, somebody else take you through. All of the modern plane wood. I'll let somebody all of the else take you through. Cranes, the trucks, you know what? As opposed At to one six hundred year old have man, an expert with three untrained here. laborers are you, are using you only primitive tools from the Stone Age. Now, how do you know that? To have fourteen hundred breeding pairs at least. How do you know that? Which is supposed to be a hell of a lot more. But you know, young Earth creationists don't believe in macroevolution over millions of years. But somehow they do believe in a turbocharged, super, uber, hyper-caffeinated, electro-mega-evolution so happening in only 100 years. So you are willing to go through that and disprove all the science that's in there? Because you're a no man science of science, right? You like science? Right, there's no science in there. I love science, too. I got one of my favorite. signs here that says, Christians love science. I love science. That's an would irony. You, no, you, you do not. You absolutely do not love science. We're okay, an anti-science I said that to you. Well, Aaron, you So if you want science. to demonstrate how realistic the blood is, really have dialogue. the 1,400 animals, live Let's animals, really not 40 stuffed animals, have 1,400 live animals, <laughs> have a year's supply of fresh water without without purifiers, it have a year's supply days and 40 nights. There's plenty on of fresh salted water, water on, Yeah, and it only rained for, for 40 days and 40 nights, and they were full for a year. So that means they have to have a year's supply of fresh water, because there's also a lot of dead things now all over the water, so you have to have fresh water. It's so on top of that, you also have yeah, water. Yeah, I know. Of fresh water. It was an impossible flood that we know didn't happen. No, we know we that from genetic we know that tests and multiple analyses of associated artifacts, we know that people in, the, in the Western Thomas, the Native Americans, all were tonight. already we there thousands of years before any date given for the flood. So do you want any civil dialogue or no? And so we know None. that those people are still there, were never drowned out. The Egyptians, too, they didn't drown either. They went right into their second dynasty, as if it never even happened. There are 350 legends of the flood around the world And there's today. not one in Every Japan, because Japan never had a flood in like the flood. that. But the legends so this that they do have are all different. Like in one, where you have people turning into fish and then turning back into people, and then another one where two people only, and no animals survive this one, there's only two people who survive by hiding in a clamshell. So the flood legends are all different, except, you know what? Except they when you get into the, the area of the Iraqi floodplain, which is called Iraqi floodplain for a reason. Do you want to address the flood that with me in the The Bible says Science? that the depth of the flood, the Bible says that the depth of the flood was 15 cubits or 22 feet, which is the same depth that is given in the Epic of Gilgamesh and Atrahasis, uh, the Sumerian flood. They address uh, that. The Sumerian so you want to go in there and talk also about the talks science about Utnapishtim, Sudra, Atrahasis, and so forth. We know that they're all talking about the same flood. Now, somehow, 15 cubits of water is supposed to cover Mount Ararat, which stands two and a half miles high. The problem is you're assuming Mount Ararat existed at that time. So it you're telling me that, that a time. freshly, that because Mount Ararat is a volcano. Correct. And you want to tell me that it just caused this volcano. So a two and a half mile high volcano just formed just now, and you're going to land a wooden boat on it?
No, I'm saying it formed uh, uh, during the flood under so the flood have waters. Eight people on this boat with these 1,400 breeding pairs. So you're making some of water. really bad a arguments right now. Food. You really know bad they arguments. They had a year's supply of food with that kind of technology. It's not possible. Actually, they could. Actually, they could. Actually, they could. Actually, they could. And then those you know eight what? people hey, are going to have to have shovels. They address that one too. You want to talk about that? Out the one window that God said they could have. And we know there's no part of this story that could happen. We know that meteorology, meteorology, meteorology doesn't allow it. Geology certainly doesn't allow it. But we do know where the flood legend came from. You know, it's interesting. In a conversation I had with you last year, you happened. said you and could be wrong about, about everything you think you know. And now you're making a lot of statements. Centered on the city of Sherapoff, the end of the Jemdat Nasser period in 2900 BCE. Do you have a problem with the separation of church and state issue with the ark? Yes. You, yes. I got a constitution expert right here, and we'd love to have I a know. civil dialogue about right this. Sure What's the problem? What is the secular purpose of the ark? <laughs> the secular purpose of the ark is science. <sighs> there's a there's a science That's secular. Science. Have you gone in there to see it yet? Why is Ken Ham saying there is no secular purpose? You want secular to talk? Purpose of course. Of yeah, tell him tell him there's a secular purpose because he's not on the news. Do you know how many jobs no. they're creating over he the next ten years? They're going to create twenty thousand. Talk about the jobs. And Talk you're about discrimination. discrimination. Only Are you upset about promote that? religion? He said that. Yeah, okay. That that's the only reason it exists. Do you think it is? Then so is he lying or is it who do I believe? The guy who the said that? Well, just say that he is telling the truth. Then where is the separation of churches? Why are his his objective is to glorify God, God and yours is to glorify no God. You understand? Uh, uh, so talk you about the discrimination. Not to, the not discrimination not. of job hiring. Yeah, talk so about the you discrimination. only hire Christians, you exclude gays, you exclude anybody that doesn't have these fundamental Do you think David beliefs? Silverman would hire me yes. with so, the American Atheist Association? Go ask him, he's right over there. You're not qualified. State tax funds, he would. Well, you are hiring you, is up to them. If he took state tax funds, he would. They haven't taken one dime. From the state, you, have a you continue to promote the, the lie. The That's the problem. I have never promoted a lie. You've made you a lie career out of it. <laughs> you are promoting a lie right You're now. You're bouncing around a lot. Is there a separation of church and state issue? So is there a church and state issue? One, wrong, and then but you'll never make that point. And then second, the what is the separation of church and state issue? No, I can do that with Kenny. Okay, let's do the hiring practices? What's the hiring process? Is that a private? Religious then it shouldn't be receiving tax funds in any way, shape, exactly. or form. not then receiving any. It, it, it is has some tax benefits. It shouldn't be receiving. And let me ask you a question. By a non by a if if hey, you don't hire gays, we got to keep it civil. So just let's talk all the time here. You the don't hire the first prong. Catholics, people who believe in science and education, then you shouldn't be receiving any tax benefits from the state of Kentucky. Here's what's interesting: because there are hundreds of state-funded museums around the world teaching the religion of evolution. But they hire anybody that employs that's qualified to do the job, sir. Accepted as such is a faith-based belief system holding to the idea that some essence of self, be it a soul or memories or whatever somehow survives the death of the physical body to continue on in a supernatural form. That's every religion. It's better than believing everything came from nothing. Is no one says everything came from nothing, sir. Science. It's an inescapable fact. That's not evolution. evolution. The fact that one little bitty museum versus the hundreds of museums that are paid for by tax dollars would get you guys so upset shows me that your religious worldview Except is we pretty don't weak. Have a religious worldview. You I do. demonstrated that. He has to lie about this. Do you because believe? Do you life. believe that we came from an ape-like ancestor? Can do you I believe? prove right now that we are still apes? Yes, I can. Which proves the question you just asked. I don't apes see don't it. have tails. We're in taxonomy. They got a little nub there. <laughs> so you are an ape by definition. Now, yes, you are. An ape is any member of the. Can we take that as an ad hominem attack? I am a created no. being Woo! in God's life. Yeah. Do you have any evidence of that right. at all? Uh -huh. Unalienable rights. Which not is a if you are an ape, this sounds like Adolf Hitler at one time who said that Jews and blacks were like animals. Of an, of it does. It we're creative like beings it. because we're Americans. All of you have a right to protest because there's a First Amendment that God gave you when you were created. What, what does the Declaration of God We hold these truths to be with Ken Hoven. Eric Hoven. Eric Hoven. Um, so he, he, he bought Chick-fil-A Chick to bring in here? Yes, Um, and why? Because we want to take care of you guys. You know, we know it's what it's like to be out here. Um, we don't necessarily support your cause, but we care about you as people. That's why we have the heart encounter here. That's why we're here with this food. For you guys. Uh, anyone's welcome to you. Um, did Chick-fil-A donate? Absolutely not. Nope. Um, why Chick-fil-A? 
I didn't order it, so I don't know. <laughs> but we do really enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite restaurants. So, and anyone's welcome to it. Chicken is universal flight food. Did you hear them chanting that Chick-fil-A is uh, sexist and anti-gay? I didn't. I would disagree with that. But. There were other protesters there, too, and they are what make these events fun for me. But it's also frustrating because these people never have the slightest idea what they're talking about. They don't even know that they don't know what they don't know. In each of these confrontations, we usually have to argue about what faith is because all of these people seem to think they have evidence for their beliefs, but they don't know what faith is because they don't know what evidence is either. None of them realize that what they're calling evidence are always either empty philosophical sophistry or logical fallacies, most commonly question-begging and arguments from ignorance, incredulity, and false authority. I know that you've assumed right, 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 right. that a thing exists, therefore God, but how does the thing existing imply that a God is? Then, then explain to me all the DNA that you know about who made it. Okay, you you said someone made, I made a video. Yeah, I made a video explaining this, actually. Okay, well, I don't have time to do DNA. I understand you don't have time, but I did do it. I did answer the question. So that means you can, in simple exciting. form, answer me right here. How does all this mass DNA, you guys say amoebas, and you say fish, no, no, and... Say, no. Okay, you know, whatever. Nobody had DNA before there was amoebas. Okay. The DNA is, so is, is self-replicated by RNA, and RNA replicates itself. And then, how did all that change to be the next species? The next species, RNA is not Okay, all right, how did DNA? I was on subject DNA. Okay, how did that change from one thing to the next thing? Because it makes coffee here. Uh, copying errors. I'm glad I'm not a bunch of copy errors. I'm glad for your sake you're not a bunch of copy errors. We are both. Yeah. yeah. According to the, according to a, a PubMed, the average human at the point of being a zygote, right from the very beginning, the fusion of the two DNA cells, we already have an average of 128 mutations. So we have just to start, my name's Doug. And then we gather more mutations as we age. But just one single DNA has a whole lot more than something little pieces. So those are mutations. Okay. 128 okay. mutations. That's just at the very beginning. Mark. That's what we start with. Well, there's a whole just, uh, lot of different gas up there. I mean, every species, right, that's not, and that's you see all that DNA, and it wasn't you know, scientists sitting in some places. Hey, people, yeah. can I get some attention? Yeah. The uh, creationists of the Are you in? Uh, okay, never mind. No, no, no. We know how it happens. None of that implies a negative disbelief. How many animals and species, viruses, bacteria, algae, how many different species of all those things exist? And who made them? How they get them? There's no food. There's no food. They procreate and they change, subtle changes, and it creates a great deal of diversity. Where are the mistakes by chance between one and the next? The 128 mutations per human zygote, these are 128 mistakes per zygote. So there was no proof. So how do you get, in order to have proof, you need to first have a fact that indicates a conclusion. Oh, I did. You show me oh, a I fact. Did. Oh, I did. Show me a fact. I had a big one that you can't even anywhere What's near. That? All of the species on this world. Let's say there's 10,000 species of viruses, it's bacteria. Millions. It's millions. Okay. Well, let's. Okay, and let's, let's and that, the, that is only one percent of the species okay. that have ever lived. Now, who made those DNA? That's only one percent. From each one. Only one percent of the species that have ever lived. So most of the species, by far, that have ever lived, are extinct now. You understand that? I, I mean, we're, I we're, talking about, we're talking about thousands Sorry. of species of yeah, giraffes okay, so and dinosaurs and thousands and thousands of them. Yeah, okay? I understand. Okay, of different species, of different genus. Yeah, right? after the flood, everything really changed. There was no flood. We know that for certain. There was absolutely no flood. We can prove there was no flood. This never happened. We know that for certain, and there's a whole bunch of different ways we can prove it. What do you think that's on, uh, that is on Mount Ararat, where the scripture says it was a new A rock need. formation. And they proved that. They That's proved that. Why it was proved. Why That's it was not made out like of wood. This. It's a rock formation. And why it was proved to be a liar. It was a falsification. And the Christian community proved it he, that he was lying. The Christian community. Okay, well, Stephen Meyer of the Discovery Institute said, don't listen to Wyatt. He didn't find a damned ark. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not well up on the... Okay. Where there was no, there like was no world the flood. We there. know that. We can't prove it. Here's one of the proofs for it. Finding human remains in South America. 
and doing genetic tests. Well, uh, wait a minute, and, you're and, a whole new subject. I had you checkmated on TNA. <laughs> I had you checkmated oh, on TNA. Oh, right, right. I right. had you checkmated. You, you don't said have there's a million species. Your conclusion. You said you have a million, you, you think there's a million species out there. <laughs> And I said, who made the DNA? I checked me. I just told you, the DNA is made by RNA, and RNA is self-replicating. There was no who. I answered your question. You know, I'm sorry. You're totally you missing my question. And then somebody takes your game. <laughs> <laughs> is that, <I'm> <laughs> okay, is it, you is said it the same thing as calling the game, and then your cue ball goes in? You, after you're guessing there's a million species. I'm not guessing. We can prove that. Okay. All right. I'll take that as given. That's all right. I'm all right with that. No, who made the DNA for you're, each other? The so DNA is. is made by RNA, and RNA replicates itself. They're okay. chemicals. They don't need to be. There's no who. I answered the question. If you ask the question again, DNA I'm going to give you the same. DNA is a lot more You're yes. oversimplifying I, I am simplifying you a great super. deal. But that's still the correct answer. And I can prove it. Oh, good. So, good. Where's your where science lab? I'll join you. And I'll watch. I'll bring a camera. Where? How can you prove it? I want to see it. I just told I don't you, think said you you can. didn't have time. Or you, I said I then, made a video explaining it. And I'd be happy to refer no, you to that. No, explain these talk. Do it. That's what do the video it. is. Film it. You want me do, to? Do, do some DNA. Make some DNA and then put it online. I'll and make sure you see what it will tell you. Okay, other people have already done it. I refer you to the studies where they do it. That has done it? Yes. And where is the millions? Show me the millions that were made from the beginning. Did I tell you that somebody made millions of species or did I tell you that somebody yes, made I know. DNA? I know him. He died from my sins. I no, know. I know who you're still about. alive. Yes, he is alive. And Jesus never existed. Oh, that's but that's a separate point. All right, I'm here. But you. we can prove there was no flood, and I was about to give you the reason why. Well, no, you're jumping. I really have you checkmated on DNA. Except Check you don't. Made it. A How? million okay. species. Where Millions did species. they come from? They evolved, and they evolved because the DNA began from re being replicated okay. by RNA, which replicates itself. <laughs> now let's back up a step. Tell me how complicated DNA is from species to species. No, it's I have you checkmated. How? DNA from one species to the next is extremely complicated. DNA is co extremely complicated, crazy. Okay. The next so? thing on my list, or one of the things on my list, is the gift of life. How is DNA being complicated yeah. an indication of God? God made the DNA, he made those You're things. You're making an assumption. You're making an assumption that is not supported by evidence. Where did God come from? You're making an assumption that is not supported by evidence. Why have you assumed that God A exists and B that he created DNA? Okay. Then I just asked you an alternative theory. What made the millions of DNA? I just told you that. And you I didn't. Well, you never got your close Once wrong. again, I tell you again, <laughs> the millions of species evolved through through uh, uh, errors, mutations in the copying of their DNA, We're and the DNA began by oh, RNA. And RNA began by replicating itself. We're saying by chance. Well, it's saying by chance. That it's also deterministic, so it doesn't matter if it's by chance. Uh, yes. There's another species. Poof. Poof. The we a million. Poof. 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 There's another evolved the poof. 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 They evolved the same way languages evolved. You know how Latin started out and then it became Spanish and French and Italian and Romanian? These are these are a type of evolution. You understand how that works? Well, they, there's no they poop. The languages do change. <laughs> yes, in exactly the same way that organisms change over time at a population level, not individuals, not poop. After the flight, so, they explain to me your checkmate because I'm still oh, yeah. waiting for. Oh please! Wait, I think I'm still the, waiting for yes. why you've made the assumption that there's a magic invisible man I'm working and how the, he magicked anything sure. up. Sure, let's have fun with this. Okay. A million species. Uh -huh. Where's the DNA? Who made it? Again, I answered the same from? question Where did again. God come from? Nobody okay. made it. But RNA made the DNA and RNA replicates chance. itself. But you're implying it's by chance. I don't so it doesn't matter if it's by chance. Are well, you saying it, are, it, are you say by it, chance? It's a major when you difference. say by chance, do you mean that it wasn't done deliberately? I, I'm, is that what you mean by chance? Yes, that's what okay, yes, I said. Okay, yes, not done deliberately. Okay. That's a big error in your approval. You're making DNA so simple. But it's not simple, it's extremely complicated. Only a very brilliant person. Can make the DNA wrong. That you it's an original property. Okay. You are simply all the emergent property. Where's all the image okay. steps? Mm -hmm. Lots of By chance. Okay. Which step do you say? Okay. I've got them all. Which okay. independent which in, which okay. intermediate step do you need? Alright. No, what do you think started in the Which primary? intermediate step do you need? I have them all. Oh please, that's two. All right, let's go. You guys believe monkeys turn into humans after actually, a while. you're still a monkey right now, and we can prove that. <laughs> well, no, actually, yes, you can. You can. You can. Actually, you can. Prove you can. Prove you are a monkey. monkey. 
Yes, yes. Oh, you are a member of the Infra Order category. Yeah, you are an try. old world monkey. Okay, but you can't yes. mix the DNA. So I'm there's not mixing a difference DNA. between the DNA. I'm not mixing DNA. There are many species of monkey. You are one. Okay, which one can a human reproduce with? They can't. Humans. That's <laughs> humans the species can't. of monkey that humans are. So that's the, which species of monkey can a howler monkey breed with? A howler monkey? There are many different kinds of monkeys, <laughs> including people. <laughs> So, you're a monkey. So yes, we came laughing. from monkeys, sure and we can that. prove it, but not just from the fact that we are monkeys, but we're many other beings too. More specifically, if you, you want to discuss only... Yeah, I can't, I can't, prove, that. A, a, I can't theory, prove that. I can't prove that. I can't prove that. And it's, it's not a theory. Okay. So, a subset of monkeys is the old world monkeys. And old world monkeys have a few more characteristics to add to the previous set, including downward pointing nostrils. Whereas the New World monkeys have splayed nostrils going out to the side. So you're talking about you're talking variation within the species at the moment. It's like no, well, I'm talking about hundreds of species because Old World monkeys comprises hundreds of species, and we are one. Now another subset of Old World monkeys. I agree, the human race is one. I agree with that. Okay, and that we are within the subclass of. You and I would differ there. I can prove the point. Go so ahead. it's any member of the Infra Order Caterini, which is the Old World monkeys. You describe all the characteristics, you describe people. To further, yeah, no, that's not correct. How do you think, what, give me your protest, give me your objection. How is that incorrect? Well, uh, for one thing, that uh, humans are separate from animals because... No, they're not. If not I in may, any sense. If I may, if humans are separate from animals because they do, they do think... No. Uh, so we're smarter level, than other animals. No, we're smarter no, than other animals. We also have a conscience. Do you have the law written in Yeah, and other animals have a conscience as well. Do you know it's wrong to steal? Do you know it's wrong to kill? Yeah, and other animals have a conscience as well. But having the conscience, even if other animals didn't have a conscience, that would just mean that we are animals with a conscience. You could say it that way, but that's I, not... I have to say it that way because I want to say things that are true, that I can show to you. You're working true. with your theory, but it's I'm not working true. with a theory. I'm working with things I can prove to be true. To you, to your satisfaction, I can prove the things that I'm saying are correct. You didn't correct. explain conscience, but go ahead. I didn't say it for you. What? You didn't explain conscience. I did say that other animals have it, too. Can you give me an example? Of an animal that has conscience. Uh, have you ever had a dog? Okay. Learning? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, you said uh, animals don't have conscience, though. I mean, that's a, that's a fair question, yeah, right? Actually, uh, do we have to ask for another definition? What is conscience? Okay, conscience is not learning what is what is uh, accepted in a, in a social circle. Uh -huh. Baboons, if you watch them, there's a pecking order. There's an alpha okay. and you already know. So they learn what is accepted at their level okay. in, the, in the rank. Okay. Well, that's different. The dog can do that. They'll learn what pleases you, what doesn't please you. That's not conscience. And they understand what it is in the law. If you had a dog, you'd know that. Well, yes, I have yeah, so the dogs have conscience as well. Not so it doesn't matter. Ah, no, you misunderstood. No, 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 okay, so the, the dogs don't, don't doesn't know when it's done something wrong. Okay, wrong or my dog does. Wrong I don't know or uncomfortable. Dog. See, like and dislike is what you're talking about. Conscience is something completely different. Okay. Conscience is a knowledge of God said this. He said no, no, no. There's, there is no knowledge. Steve Nobody has knowledge of the magic imaginary friend saying dick. God Nobody God. has knowledge of it. God, right on your God, God does not exist. God is imaginary. He wrote nothing. Ignorant, bigoted savages pretending to speak for God wrote a whole bunch of fables. I partially agree with you there. Okay. We have a lot of corrupt uh, religion. So, getting back to my point. Getting back to the guy running over there. Getting, getting back to my point. If you can describe a suborder or a subgroup of um, old Romans, hominoidia, apes. This includes lesser apes and great apes. We are also in that category. We have less fur than the uh, than the, the general monkey population, but we have the same amount of follicles as all of the other apes and so forth. There's maybe 50 fossil species of apes that are not included in the hominid ape or the, the, the humanoid family line. So, if you further define it to describe the, the traits characteristic of great apes, you're pretty precise on us. Again, you can't describe them without describing us. They have the exact same dentition that we do. Different DNA, though. No. Appearance isn't everything. No. The DNA is very different. But, but the difference is absolutely almost there, there, Okay, let me say it this way. There are significant differences between the ape and humans. No, there are there's, not, there's and I can prove class. that. And you cannot. And I, I've been on this argument a billion times. Believe me, you can't prove this. I can't. So... You know, 90, depending on how you measure, because there's two different ways of measuring. It just depends on what you qualify. Uh, two, wait, are you talking about carbon dating? Talking no, I'm talking about your genetics. Okay, so I'm just talking about genetics. Okay. Depending on which which portions you count on what way, it's 96 to 98 percent. Now, if on, you're using the one that gives you the, the 98 point something percent, then baboons, as you mentioned before, are 95 percent. 
to give you some idea of the similarity. So even they are close to identical to us. But the, but the other chimpanzees and such, virtually identical. So, further defining that, so I think we're, we're pretty much done. So when, when, people, when people describe whether you came from apes, you are still an ape. Right. See, I still disagree with you. But I know, but I know, I know. You're welcome to be wrong, but I can prove it. I can really, honestly prove that. Well, you haven't yet. So. I have actually. You just haven't understood the information. No, you're quoting. You're, you're quoting what you're saying in a science report. So I've not seen yet. So, okay. Fair I just enough. gave it to you. You now know what to look up. I can look it up. But I, I, I've already studied a lot of this. And I, I, I don't think you have. <laughs> okay, but I'll, I'll help you out here. Lobo.org. That's L-O-C-O-L-O-B-O. Lobo. It's a website I created. There's a website subsite on that called the Systematic Classification of Life Forms. And it will help you go down through the evolutionary steps. What do you mean what's it based on? Well, every, everybody has a worldview, that's why they base it. It's not a base, it's not a worldview. Yes, you have a no, worldview. No, it's not a worldview. No, it's not a worldview. If I can demonstrate that it's a fact, that's a fact. It doesn't matter what my view of it is. Let me ask you, you're saying you don't have a worldview. Let me ask you this. Is lying wrong? Yes. Why? Why? Well, because it's there's a right and wrong by saying yes. Yes, it's wrong. How's that Why related? Wrong? How's that related to the facts that I was describing before? Because this is Because it means that the facts are not part of a worldview, but, but my belief about lies is. Ah, oh, but wait, 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 you can't separate. Why not? You, you, hey, evolution says there is no right and wrong. Everything no, no, no. Evolution does not say that. Evolution says that we evolved as a social species. That means that we have a natural innate a tendency to ah, but likes and dislikes are not. not has nothing to do with likes and dislikes. Would you let me finish the sentence? We naturally have a natural empathy for our family, friends, and fellows. We are as a social animal. So, quite the opposite of saying there is no right and wrong. Evolution says there is a right and wrong. This is what benefits society. The what the more nurturing we are to each other. Religion very often goes completely against that. Religion makes us go against our nature. I would disagree with that. I know, but I can prove that too. Oh, okay, fair enough. But let's stick on this real quick. Why is lying wrong? Because it's a form of violence. You'd be correct there. But uh, is it just wrong because it's deceiving a neighbor? Or is it taking advantage of them? Or you're saying? Explain. It's misleading someone. If somebody is looking to you for information, you're betraying their trust. Correct. And if they don't have accurate information, they can't make an accurate judgment. Correct. Which is why I stand against religion. Okay. Because it is dishonest to assert as fact that which is not evidently true. Yet that's what all religions do. That is all they do. May I ask you well, a question? Well, what's the orange is there? Jesus explained that lying no, is wrong. Well. So, may I ask if you're also charging him with being yeah, yeah, dishonest like the other pagans that we see pretending to be false? I don't charge him with anything. He never existed. Okay, so 39 non-biblical sources that prove that Jesus existed are lies? Nobody has ever. I, prove that you, I, I know, I know, you, you just homework. said. You need to go look this up. Okay, I've already <laughs> in, interviewed Frank Schubert, uh, oh, so, oh my God, uh, Robert Price, Dia Murdoch, David Fitzgerald, Richard Carrier. I've interviewed everybody in the mythicist movement, okay? Nobody, nobody has thing. presented evidence that Jesus existed. Not just that nobody has okay, proven so Roman and Greek there records are, don't count. There, no, there are Roman and Greek records. Ah. And there are two, there are two that are interpolations or forgeries. <laughs> you need to do some more research. In music, no, I different. don't believe I can do any more research on this. I'm kind of done. Okay, I think you need to get started to catch up to me, and then we'll continue the conversation. You need to, there are 39 different non-biblical resources. Give me evidence that Jesus existed. You have to go up the research yourself. I already did. I know there isn't any. No, you looked at two recent ones. I'm talking about records, historical records. Look me up, look me up, and I'll just make this challenge so everybody can hear it. Look me up and present to me evidence that Jesus ever existed. Because I've already talked to a whole fuckload of people about this. Uh, living Nobody. People, uh, there are a lot of living right. people that present themselves as Christian leaders uh, that are not. So you have to be aware. I don't just talk to Christian leaders because oh, I like honest people yeah. too. So I will, I will talk to sincere people. Some Christians are honest. Though. Some of them, but they are misled. So there is no evidence that Jesus ever existed. There actually is evidence that he didn't. And Josephus is one of them. Jesus? Yeah. Okay. He actually spoke about three different Jesuses, and I think some of them get, some people get them confused. Well, if you're talking about the modern representation of Jesus, yeah, that's a lie. But the, the Jesus of the Bible is true. No. No. There is zero evidence to support the existence you're of incorrect. Jesus. incorrect. I'm offering to prove it. Well, Look me this. up. Fair enough. Public statement. Yeah, okay. What's your name? R.N. Raw. A-R-O-N-R-A. I see. You're an A. 
right. and there is no Jason <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> the next day, Helton and I toured this farcical arc alongside the infamous Ken Ham and his more famous rival, Bill Nye the Science Guy. All the while, Ken told Bill that you don't know, you weren't there, you can't be sure. Because faith is a matter of make-believe, the only way they can keep pretending in an imaginary reality is if they can convince themselves that we don't really know what we know about reality as it is. When we arrived at the parking lot for the Ark Encounter, we had to run through a torrential downpour, which was as real an experience as this Ark could have. And we were then told to come inside the ticket area and wait for the second of two tornado warnings that week. The storm seemed promising at first, but unfortunately no tornado ever materialized, because that's the one thing the Ark Encounter wasn't prepared for, and that would have been too funny. And I have to tell you that once I got inside the Ark, I was not impressed. Think about it. Does this look like the interior of a boat that could have been built with the technical skill that was available 5,000 years ago? Okay, here's the door to the Ark, and you can see the air conditioning system, even with the air conditioning system, and the fact that there's not that many people in here. It's still really hot. Looks like they've devoted most of the space to stairways, and then, of course, we have the exit doors to the adjoining building. We are to believe that in 2900 BCE, they had steel rivets and braces. And look at our dromaeosaurs. Get a good look at there. Where are the feathers? Now, this is good. They argue very often against horse evolution, for example, right? But now they want to say that they only had 1,400 species and that they somehow replenished everything in the world. So where did we get horses from? Well, now they admit transitional species. Take a look at those feet. You have only three toes on this animal because two of them have now been reduced. In the subsequent species, the two toes that you see on the sides will be raised off the ground, vestigial, don't even touch the ground anymore. So they apparently are admitting to evolution. And then in the later one, and then in the later one, but they're different species. Right. I mean, species come from a kind. There's so, no such thing as a kind. Well, they're really not. I, mean, I, I, I made a video to prove it. Made a video yeah. to prove it. But yeah, there, there really is honestly no such thing as a kind. Uh, you I'm can't name you two. Okay. From your perspective, <laughs> right. you cannot name two created kinds. It can't be done. So anyway, what you've got here is the entire line. Our guide through this fantasy cruise was Tony Ramsek, one of the Ark Encounter employees. And of course you have to sign a waiver that you attest that you hold all the extreme religious beliefs that Ken Ham does in order to work there. So we can be sure that he is a young earth creationist who denies evolution and deep time and all of that. Pretty quickly I found myself uh, having to explain to him why so many of the stuffed animals on board weren't created kinds that he thought they were and why they were transitional species. I don't, I don't see where there's a difference. Oh, right. Okay. How, is, how could there be a difference? You don't see the difference between microevolution and macroevolution. I know exactly what the difference is. Microevolution is variation within species, like within different breeds of dogs, where you get different traits that show up within a single interbreeding group. Speciation, however, crosses into macroevolution. Macroevolution is changed at the species level and beyond. The species is the only taxon of a breed that actually has a definition. So every every new genus or order or whatever. Right, they are. Every, all of those classifications beyond species are just signposts so that we can see their family with their familial relationship. These things, by the way, the other renderings are perfect. This is missing something. Do you know what it is? Every Dromaeosaurium has feathers. They have, they have half wings, and they use those, the wings are useless for anything except um, brooding a larger clutch of eggs. So there's a large, there's a strong... Yes. Yes. And they even have an amber cast 
of an, of an actual arm. It's a very small, a diminutive baby dinosaur, but it still has, it actually has the feathers in it as opposed to an amber. So we, have, we now have a couple dozen feathered dinosaurs where we actually see the feathers themselves, even Triceratops. They've got Triceratops kid impression that they found in, in Houston. And every, every foot to 18 inches or so, there's a quill hole like this, like you would expect with a feather thing. So what they think, because it's on a different line than the feather, primarily feather dinosaurs, is that it didn't have the, the plume, it only had the rings. Which means that the Triceratops would have looked like a hedgehog or a porcupine. It didn't just have the horns of the it had spikes all over it. Now see, my standards are actually higher than this. If you're going to lower the bar this much, my job's already done. At the close of our tour, Ramzik brought us into an office for sandwiches. He spoke for maybe a whole minute about his vacuous beliefs in Jesus saving him from his sin, an invisible friend saving him from something that was never there to begin with. So I jumped in to say how utterly empty that notion was, that the only value information can have is how accurate you can show it to be, and if you can't show that it is accurate at all, then it has no value at all. So I can't ignore evidence the way he can. I, mean, I have to consider it, and I have to have that if I'm going to believe anything. I have to have sufficient reason to convince me. I can't simply pretend what is not evidently true. And that's when he, too, said that he had evidence for his beliefs. Then I had to turn the camera back on. Now, the way Eric Hoven tells it, Ramzik shared the gospel with us for a couple of hours, but that's just another of his lies. Let's look at what really happened. Okay. It's unreasonable. Right. So I'm saying that in the entirety of the history of the world, no one ever has presented any evidence indicative of gut. He says it's an absolute statement that there are any exceptions. I challenge you at this time, produce for me one. What about me? What about you? You don't have evidence. Evidence of what? Evidence of God, what I just said. I don't have evidence of right. God. How about uh, that this this creation even exists? It's even here today. Okay, so you're, it's an assumed conclusion. You realize it's a logical fallacy, right? No. It's a circular argument brought back to an assumed conclusion. No, I mean, a thing exists, exists, therefore God. Why is God no, in no, A thing exists, exists, creation therefore exists. it exists. Creation exists. Okay, so you assume that... It's creation. What if you call it reality? Do you need a realtor for reality? You need someone who to create that reality. Why? An intelligence. Why? That's we have emergent properties that create themselves. RNA creates itself and then subsequently creates DNA. We don't need an intelligence. So we have a thing that exists. You assume so there's a God. Where did we what is the evidence? That? What is the evidence that there is a God? That we have matter. Where well, we matter don't need from? a God to have matter. How, how did we get matter then? How did matter come into existence? Matter kind of always existed, but this is going to be a uh, difficult okay, thing. Okay, right. Kind so of. So you believe in eternal matter. At the same time as the out of, out, out of that at eternal matter came thing. all of this, this life form. This is going to be this right. too far. See what I'm saying? Yep. Whereas I believe in eternal life that created right, which more is life forms. Right. right. You're believing so, what you so, believe in is a so top down. Like biogenesis, or, or, the law of biogenesis, Louis Pasteur. The Louis life Pastor, you only know, was, comes from life. You know, we have Pastor never, was we've never seen life come from this life, point. from this life, right? right we've never we seen life happens. comes from non-life. We have but not we, observed that, but right? We, but we now but know we how it happens. we do see life coming from life. So that know, is the scientific method. We know that life observe. comes from life, and we know that right. there are ways, scientific so I ways in which it can begin without any I believe in eternal life. So we know how and from that eternal know. life comes lower life forms. You believe in eternal can we, matter. Can we round back? You see we, what I'm saying? Okay. So, what, you, so what, what you're, you're saying me. is you, what, you're telling what me your is. belief is goes against the observable scientific method. No. Nothing I believe is going to score the scientific you. method of. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You said that because you don't know, argument from ignorance, you don't no. know how this thing happens. I don't Therefore, God did it. But no, I do know how this thing happens, and I can show you. 
I, I just showed it to you, but you, but you didn't you show me. You yeah. said you were going to present evidence. Your evidence I, I is, guess. I assume the conclusion because I assume the conclusion because no. I don't know any better. I just that it. is not, no, you didn't. You assume that because life creates life that you don't know how life began. You're, if you're I say, argumentative if I say, because you, you're, you're deflecting from, you said you had evidence of God. No, you do not. You put words in my mouth. I did, said you, that. did he say on this recording that he had evidence of God? Yeah, and I just showed you the evidence. You said you didn't. What you gave me was a fallacious yeah. argument, a circular yeah. argument routing back to the assumed conclusion. A thing exists, therefore God. No, Why do you assume that. that therefore God? I didn't say that. You said a th you, yeah, matter. That's, that's you said you matter said. exists. You needed God to I create said. matter. It gets recorded. You yeah. said it. I said, what, 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 did I, what did I say? You said that matter exists and you need an intelligence to create matter. No, you don't. It's an emergent property. But you so, said that matter is eternal. Because if time begins with the Big Bang, then there's a point at which time stretches out with excessive gravity. So when you get to the point of the Big Bang, one second equals infinity, when t equals zero. That means it's both yeah. infinite and has a beginning. Right, so, so you're saying that matter is eternal, and yet from that eternal matter came all this life form, which goes against because the law of biogenesis. But, but it's, it has nothing to do with the law of biogenesis, which, by the way, you don't understand what Louis Pasteur did either. He was disproving a supernatural belief. And he was using well, methodological I, naturalism to do that. Yeah, he used the which, scientific method to show yes, that, spontaneous, that spontaneous, no, no, the scientific and method. You know, you know what spontaneous so, generation yes, was? That's what it I'm trying to show you, right? It was the belief that it was <laughs> That's the belief that Louis was, was, it was, right, it, it has nothing to do, spontaneous you know, understand, spontaneous generation and no, it, that's are right, not that's related. Right. You see, see, no, 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 wait, you're changing right. the subject. I asked you for evidence, I'm asking for demonstration of evidence, okay? Louis Pasteur, his uh, uh, spontaneous generation, is the belief that supernaturally all things that ever lived have life inherent in them. So poop and dead bodies and decomposing organic matter will all ooze life force and that these things will turn into something else. This was a supernatural belief. He disproved that supernatural you can, belief. You can finish this now. This is not the same thing <laughs> as the <laughs> Genesis. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to talk to you. <laughs> All right, so I asked for Touché. evidence of God. Evidence of God. And by, what I mean by that is anything that qualifies as <coughs> So what evidence is, by, is, by the a, way, is a fact. My non-response is not an acquiescing that you are right. I'm trying to be polite here, okay. letting you have the last word. I'm not, this I don't know how long it's going to go. You said you had evidence. I'm going to tell you what evidence is. We'll yeah. see what you got. How long are you going to go? I'm just going to finish. So that depends on how many times you interrupt me. All right. <laughs> what evidence would be is a fact that was, that's objectively verifiable, right, which is positively in <coughs> above or exclusively concordant with the God hypothesis over any other. Now, I've got that for evolution. I've got, all, I've got tons of it for evolution. But I'm saying nobody, never, ever in the history of the world has any for God. All right, thank you for that. <laughs> so as you can see, this is why I do what I do. Because this is a lot for us to be up against. <laughs>